The watchdog for Tampa Bay's water quality will soon have a new way to pinpoint pollution sources. Tonight, 10 Tampa Bay's Chris Hurst explains why Tampa Bay Waterkeeper will now test for DNA. Trying to find the source of fecal indicator bacteria and fecal contamination in our watershed. So there's waste in the bay. That much we've known for years. But is it entirely from humans? Whether or not that is actually sewage, or maybe it is, you know, from a dog park, or maybe it's from birds in the mangroves. That question has been bugging Justin Tramble and Tampa Bay Waterkeeper. This week, they announced a grant from a nonprofit in Miami to pay for DNA testing of the water. Our mission is to conserve bonefish, tarpon, and permit. Uh, that's the species, their, their habitats, and larger fisheries they comprise. Water samples will go to a lab at the University of South Florida to determine not only what kind of animal waste is in specific locations, but also nitrogen and industrial heavy metals. Basically expand its water quality testing program uh, to achieve a higher level of coverage. So that will include the upper segments of Tampa Bay, uh, which have seen the sharpest decline in seagrass. Pinpointing exactly where the pollution is coming from is a challenge for Tramble because it's all mixed together during storms. The greatest contributor of pollution is actually just stormwater runoff and, um, you know, the water that's going on the concrete, that's going into the storm drains, picking up everything with it, going right into our bay. Once they get the DNA results, he hopes it will give them more data to lobby local leaders for more specific actions. These are the issues. We've identified it. Now here are potential fixes. Getting one step closer to a cleaner bay. In St. Petersburg, Chris Hurst, 10 Tampa Bay.